innkeeper putting some food on the table. Um, let's see. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, can you hear me still? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi. OK, yes. So we left off. Uh, yeah, we left off with the innkeeper putting some food on the table. So, uh, Bonnie, I can't see the screen. Oh no, it's like my internet's been getting really bad lately. <laughs> um, so my screen is officially okay. sharing. Okay, so it's buta no aburi nuka wa ko kobashi ni oi oi gashi um naka ku yaku yaku wa. It's actually kawa, which is skin. Kawa. Kawa, um, ka, 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 ri, ni, ya, ke, de, ita. Right. And what is this meat word? Do you know? This word is niku. Hi, hi, niku. Perfect. Uh, so it's a the the meat that is the regarding the regarding the pork grill the mar marinated pork grill something like that um, yeah the kobashi ni oi kobashi ni Oishi, oi, oi gashi. Uh, it's delicious. The smell. Hi. The smell is delicious. It's a nice smell. Delicious smelling. Nice. And what about the skin? What the do we spice, know about it? The spice. The skin. If we say it was yaku, was that right? Uh, yes, the sin was ya uh, no, yakite. The, the skin is. Uh, kakari, kari kari ni. It's it's kari kari ni. It's crunchy. Mm -hmm. Uh, yakete ita. Uh, it was grilled. It was grilled. It was grilled to a crunch. Perfect. Yep. Um. Next. Um. Jagai jagai mo ni. The guy Moni wa um bata ga taburi kakate ite um tekat teka teka shita and this is chai right this is chai chai ro chai ro chai ro um. Chairo e uh and the skin is you got um, Look. Kawa. 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 Kara, kawa. Sorry. Kawa. <laughs> kara. Not kawa. Kara. Kara. Ah. Kara. The skin is kara. So chairo kara no ue ni kuro kuro kosho. Oh no, I'm strong as Kawa. I, I was right the Ute. first time and then I corrected myself. Ah. Hi, it's, it's Kawa. It's Kawa. Chairo Kawa no ue ni kuro kosho kuro kosho ga fute aru. And this kosho is is this kosho is, is a kanji word, isn't it? I could have kanji, yeah. Kuro is black kosho. The black something. Yeah. Oh, pe pepper. Hi. 
Black pepper. Yep. Um, the black pepper that is on top of the skin of the brown, the skin of the brown, uh, teka teka shi, shita. The brown so, one, teka teka shita is kind so of a te brown. So teka teka shita is being used to describe the kawa. The kawa is teka teka shita. And that is basically just kind of continuing that kari kari type of sound effect. We're just saying it's basically very yummy sound effects right there. Um, teka teka, I believe, is steaming, if we want to say what it is, but teka teka, glistening. It's a uh, glistening, what it is. So it's glistening brown skin. Glistening. The skin is that buta aburiniku we talked about in the last line. Buta aburiniku, hi. So the skin that is glistening brown right. and it is um kakat kakate ite with the taburi. Uh, we say taburi was just that that um mar marinated, right? Um taburi is just a sound effect. In English the closest would be a dollop. It's just like a large amount, like a big fat spoon. A large amount. So there is a large amount that is on it. Kakate ite. Hi. What? What? A large amount of what? And so butter. Hi. What is the butter, butter on? Do you know? The butter is on jagai mo ni. Jagai mo ni wa. Yep, there's so, butter on the potatoes. The whole thing said, that is glistening. A, a lot of there's a there's butter on the potato that is a lot of no 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 on the potato there's a lot of butter. Right. Taburi, kakate, meaning a lot. And then furthermore, uh Teka teka shita mean glistening chai iro kawa no ue ni kuro kuro koshoga the black pepper that is on top of the glistening skin uh the brown glistening skin uh it is fute aru Daru. aru is existing so it is fut it is fute right. uh, so furu is like, a verb that we've seen before, such as ame ga futeiru, or when we saw za za buri earlier. You know what furu means? Uh so furu furu is furu furu. Furu is. Mega furu. Mega furu. Hmm. I can't. Ame. I can't remember what furu. Hi. So furu means to fall, but actually, apparently, this is actually this kanji for furu, which is identical in that it's both furu and futte. Uh, they don't have kanji here, but it's meaning to sprinkle in this context. Kosho is sprinkled on top of the kawa. So fute is the action of sprinkling, sprinkle something. That is on. theoretically correct. However, so, we're it, ending it with aru rather than so it iru. Wa, it was sprinkling. Hi. Hi. It was sprinkle on. Hi. Already. Hi. Uh. Next one is Sujin. Sujin wa sugini modotte kite. Um, ki ki ichigo ki ichigo ga uh, hami hami dashi hami dashi da hami dashi da. 
。はみ出した。はみ出した。砂糖が、毛のパイの皿も置いて、So, so we got a whole lot, a lot of the we sugar. Got a big, we got a big relative clause right there going all the way down till we hit Sara. So our main sentence here is Sara mo oiteita. That's our main sentence here.、Uh, so on the plate, also,、right. also on the So, also is referring to this verb, oita. It's not referring to what's on the plate. If you wanted to say on the plate, we'd have to do、also. ni mo. But mo doesn't replace ni. Mo replaces o or wa or ga.、Uh, so,、um, So the action also here is oite ita. Oite、right. is place on. Yeah, so it means the sada is replaced also, on something. This is on the table. The sada was also placed on、uh, the table. Right, so it's implicated. It's understood that it was on the table, and the sara was described by pai, and it was described by sato kake,、pai. the pai that is sugar coated.、Yes. Um, and the sugar was described as being midashita. Hamidashita. The sugar is hamidashita. Specifically, is what, kichigo、um, ga hamidashita sugar. Ichigo ga ha, ha mi da sta sa to. So the sugar is the sugar that was flavored with, with raspberry. That's a really good guess. But all it's really saying is that there's a raspberry sticking out on top of this pie, and the pie has sugar all over on the top of it. So you got pie, cover this pie with sugar, and then you stuck a raspberry right on the middle. Right? So the ha mi da s it is the stick out. So, the reason why we can assume that you... this plate is put on the table is because oite iru, oite, it means to place. And we're using mo, which means also. So, it means he placed something earlier in some other location. So, the thing he placed earlier, which we didn't really have over here, was that he brought in some plates and he placed them on the table. So, we're assuming if that's what he did, he brought plates, placed them on the table. We can assume that when he also put down this pie, that he had to,、um, after he returned to the room, it has to be the same location because it's, it's the same action going on. Hi.、Um, I see. So next is. ねぶりが何か言ったけど、はらべこの俺はそれどこ、それどころじゃない。OK。言ったけど、言った。ねぶり said something。However、はらべこの俺は、uh, did the,、uh, my stomach, my, my empty stomach. What's the subject of the sentence? Wait, wait. What's the subject of the sentence? I or my stomach? The subject is I. Hi, hi. Ore. Yes, yes. So I, whose stomach is empty, I of the empty stomach. I who was who stomach, I who had an empty stomach, right? Um, uh, at that play at that point,、mm. it is not. 
Yes. So that is a nice little transition. Point. I'm not at that point. It's a really good way of thinking about it. That helps kind of like get the idea of what it's saying here um, contextually. So this is saying that the main character can't pay attention to what nobody's saying. So nobody said something, but because I'm so hungry and there's a bunch of food in front of me, I can't pay attention. But literally saying, it's not the time for that. I can't. I just, it's not, I, it's not the point. I cannot handle whatever is nobody trying to do right now. All I got is food on my hand, mind. He, nobody say something, but because I, who is so hungry, so, so. cannot do that right now. Exactly. I'm not one right now. I can, I can't deal with it. Yeah, I can't deal with it. What got that? Can't, can't. Not at that point. Understood. Uh, also, so now it's foku, foku o totte, se, se, to, jagai mo o, uh, ki, kiri, pa, pata ni, hita, shite, omoi, kiri, kaburi, suita. Uh, okay. Um, fork, fork, totte se se to. Jagai mo o. Kiri. So kiri is the cut. Hi, hi, hi. Kiri is, kiri is the cut. And cut what? Cut. The potato. So, so. And what is the other thing that he cut? He doesn't Fork. cut another thing. He he does. So what's going on? So after he cuts the jagaimono in a se se kind of way, he he tosses the um bata into bata. I guess I got confused at the beginning part when it say foku o totte. So he uh, takes hey. the fork. He totte. Yes. First clause. He takes the fork and then he do the second action, which is se seto, which is he did the action in a, in a se set way. Which action is doing se set way? And the he, kiruing or the toteing? The kiri kiriing. The kiri. Hey, the kiriing, perfect. Because once you hit the verb, uh, it's over. He cuts. <laughs> Hi. Then it's the first clause, right? It's the first Hi. action that he did was to take the fork, and then the second action is he cut the potato. Right. In a sese way. Yeah, and you can see in the second clause, there's and no then, new o, so because of that, we can assume the previous clause shares the o. So right here we have particle O saying this is our object. Hi. So next next clause we have a new O, so we must have a new object. Third clause there's no new O, so we can assume the object is the jagai mono and not the folk, because folk is already done. It was replaced by jagai mono. Hi, wakata. So bata ni hitashite. At the butter, itashite, mm. but I don't feel So it's omo omoi kiri kaburi suita. Omoi kiri kaburi. Imi kiri kaburi. Imi im omoi kiri. What is omoi kiri? Omoi kiri um, is means like as much as possible like kind of like aggressively kind of like he goes ah, basically okay omoi kiri is as much as possible Hi. um so as much as possible he buri buri suita hi it's kaburi so what is buri suita Kaburi tsuita. Kaburi tsuita. So kaburi tsuku is to bite down. Suku is to bite down. Suita is he bitten. He 
he, he bite. Right. He bited. Sink one's teeth into something. And I'm like, giddy is with all one's he, strength, like 100%. But in this case, it, it, feel, it, it feels very much like he's just taking a big bite, basically. So I made my sound effect of her being the sound you'd imagine with omoikiri kaburi. So, Moni, ka kaburi right. suita is one verb, right? Yes, it is Meaning a compound a verb. Uh, uh, to sink your teeth into. Hi, that makes sense. It goes from tuku so to all, attach and kaburi, my... which is to bite. Kaburu. Ka, um, kamu. Hi. With all his might, he bite, he bit, he bite, he bite it. Hi. Perfect. Um. So, yep. So the main character grabs the fork, he cuts the potato, grabs the potato on the fork, dips it inside, well, soaks it in some way in a butter. We're not exactly sure how he soaks it. Maybe the butter's melted or something like that in like a little container. And then he takes a huge bite in it. So it's does a very aggressive yum down onto the food. Awesome. So now we're going to go to our uh, into the future. One chapter ahead. <laughs> and we're starting with the word Hi. taisetsu. I bet you know what taisetsu means. What is it? Taisetsu. It's important. Hi, taisetsu. It's important. Nice. And um, I'm not sure. Oh, it's, uh, do you know what nitote means? You can read the nitote. whole sentence if you forgot. Ore nitote wa. Ore nitote. Ore nitote wa modori takunai basho. And they're talking about the uh, mansion that belongs to the Twilight Lord, Yugure Yasuki. I forgot what nitote means, Mani. Hai. So nitote means for, basically. So for me, it is a place I do not want to return to. So for other people, maybe they do want to return to the place. For example, the Lord of Twilight probably likes his house. But for Kon, for me, he doesn't like the house. He does not want to return there. So nitote is used when you have, um, you're saying, if this is the person whose opinions we're basing this on, then that, this would be a fact. So for me, it's a place you do not want to return to. Returning would suck. But if someone else was the subject, they could be happy. So it means it's not a fact for the universe, but it is a fact for a specific person. So that's what nitote means um, hi for me so, hi for me I basho ga. this is a place that i don't want to return to exactly and what was this word started with it ended with setsu start with tai hi tai setsu perfect can you read this for me hi uh koushaku sama ni Nitote. Warumeto wa taisetsu da. Hai. For the Duchess, warumet is very is important. Perfect. And it started with tai. What did it end with? It started with tai and it ends with setsu. Hai, tai setsu. Can you read this for me? This is a phrase rather than really a sentence. Hi, Warumeto Nitote Taitsetsuna Koto. Hi. It is the thing, the important thing, the important thing uh, for Warumet. So for Warumet, is, is this the important thing? Yeah. Koto, I would say, insinuates plurality. Not necessarily, like, I, I would assume there could be exceptions in certain situations, but because koto is a generalizer, that's either used for generalizing an idea or to refer to multiple ideas, s would make more sense in saying thing, because instead you could say like taisetsu na mono, 
would be more feel more like thing versus things with koto just because of how koto works so things that are important for wedometto um now we got some kanji things. practicing <laughs> hi things koto hi so that koto is a plural pluralizing koto basically yeah that's how i would put it in that sentence Specifically, it's a generalizer. So, the generalizer. Generalizer. Okay. In 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 a plural way. Okay. Okay. I'll think about it. Well, anything um, that's general is plural. Eh. For example, if I say for right. humans, correct, they eat food. That's a generalizing statement. You can't use that for one person because it's a generalized statement. So generalizing is plurality in and of itself. Uh, so if I'm talking about sakura no koto, Hai. the thing of sakura. It'd be more like things of sakura. I'm talking about many things. Hi. Like mm. you like her hair. You like that she says good morning in the morning. You like that she smiles. Things like that. Mm-hmm. Hi. Okay, I that makes sense. It's it's always plurals. Yes. Okay, I guess I got confused because one time I saw the kanji, the kanji koto, but I'm guessing mm -hmm. it it was used in a different situation. It used with another kanji, kanji to mean like an incident had occurred. You can hi hi. It's... But I guess it was by itself. The kanji wasn't by itself. It was with another kanji. So mm -hmm. it, I remember so, you say, oh, this, this, yeah, a bad event had occurred. It wasn't even a good event. Yeah, um, that it's definitely used for those event words as well. Definitely. You can kind of think about it that some kind of bad event has multiple things that happen to make this event so bad. So it's not just like, oop, I stubbed my toe. It's going to be, mm. oh, one car slammed into another car. And this person couldn't get out of the car. Then the car caught on fire. So it's kind of, I guess you can think about it as a multiple things happen to make a deacon and things like that, make that kind of event. It's not just one thing happen. It has to be kind of like, for it to be bad, you know? Like, not only did the meteorite have to fall huh. from the sky, but someone also had to be standing underneath it. Could be how you could think about it. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Um... So next sentence is Anata e no suiho re wa suiho re wa um something kai kai hai uh, te, te, kai kai te, te, kai jo shio so this say Shio, shio is the uh, volition or like the imperative. Yes. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Shio. And do what? Tekai. Which is... Tekai is... Release, right? Yes. Re release from, like, um, res rescinded, like... Rescind, re hi. Redacted. Hi, hi. Hi. Let's re redact the command for exile, the sui hore. That was anata e no towards you. Hi. Your. Perfect. Yep. So, exile yep. command. Let's do it. Perfect. Um, can you read this word for me? This one is yusen. Yusen is priority. Use in like a priority. priority. Um, and right now is our halfway point. So I'm actually going to have us a, a stop our meeting and I'll see you in two seconds.